Hello guys, welcome to GeoOnlineITutes.com. My name is Asif Ali. In this video, I am going to show you how to database value get in combo box on click. I mean, if you want to click on button, then combo box values on display on the uh, combo box. So I will tell you how you can do it. So first of all, you we need to create the project. So I go to File, New Project and then uh, enter the project name so I enter the project name on combo box combo box load on click right then you need to select the visual C sharp and windows form application and click OK button and then wait a couple of seconds to create the project and windows form application now project has created so uh, we need to drag and drop the combo box and button so I go to tool toolbox and select combo box and drag and drop combo box here and then uh, uh, we need to load uh, drag and drop button right then we do not need to anything else uh, right and then uh, I change the name button and combo box so I select button and go to property and change the name btn uh, load load and I change the programming name btn load and change the combo box name cmb load right so I want to uh, click on button then the database value display on this combo box so I have made database and I have uh, made the table and here you can see it the many record display on the tables so I want to these record display on the combo box so what I can do there are very simple process to load the combo box values from database first of all you need to right click it and go to view code first step you need to import the library and SQL client then we need to make a connection between SQL server and Visual C shop so first step you need to call SQL connection and make object and enter the uh, data source and initial catalog there are three requirements we will need to connect SQL Server and Visual C Sharp. The first is data source and second is initial catalog and third is integrated security. Integrated security is true because I am using Windows authentication mode to connect the SQL Server. So, so first step we need to add the data source. So I go to SQL Server and connect click to connect button and I pick the server name and go to visual C sharp and paste here the second is we need to um, import or add the database name so I go to my database portion and copy the database my database name is tutorial copy it and paste on here right then here you can see it the red sign displayed on the connection uh, I mean parameters like these so you need to write simple backslash again then we we have connected the SQL server and uh, Visual C sharp the next step you need to call or load the combo box are the method clear the method to the load combo box but we can't do it because I, I want to display the combo box value on click so I double click on this button then we need to uh, make a object SQL data adapter and uh, data table we will use them on here right 
so first step you need to call connection open and connection close between connection open and close you need to write the query to display the record and display the database record in combo box so call adpt here and write complete address and write the query select steric from your table name my table name is country and after comma you need to write con con means connection then you need to write the data table complete object called dt above, above i have made the dt here dt so you need to write complete address and uh, assign this adapt value fill on this it means dt means the data table then you need to call combo box combo box cmb dot value member and enter the value name member your database column name my database column name is country uh, you can see it the country so I write simple country and uh, again call cmb combo box then the data source the data source and assign the this dt on here that's it right so I save the file and run the project then we will check uh, to data display on comp box or not this time here you can see it no record display on the database but I click on the load button then you can see here the record has displayed on the combo box so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture